before we go to our new topic, may I ask you a question? Who among you know SpongeBob SquarePants? Okay. SpongeBob SquarePants um, need us to help his friend, Mr. Krab. Why? Because Mr. Krab forgot his password in his vault. Okay, class. In order for us to help Mr. Krab, we will have here the summation. And obviously, the correct, the last one is this one. 2 minus 1. Okay. Would you tell me what is the missing password of Mr. Krabs? Okay. Good job, class. The missing password of Mr. Krabs is central. So, our, our topic for today is about measures of central tendency in grade 7. Okay. Are you ready, class? The meaning of measure of central tendency, it is a single value that reflects the average value. There are three common me measure of central tendency, the mean, median, and mode. Okay, so before we go to the definition of the mean, median, and mode, we have the word problem here. Anna Marie is a grade 7 student from Tagudin National High School. Her grade in 5 subjects in math, 88, English, 90, science, 87, Filipino 88 and math is 86. What is your, uh, we will uh, answer the question A to C. Letter A, what is her main grades? Letter B, what is the median of her grades? Letter C, what is the mode of her grades? Okay, let's define what is the meaning of mean. Mean is the sum of all data divided by the total number of data. Okay. Using the example and Anna Marie problem, we will add all the given grades and divide it into five subjects. So, since we add these all the grades, we will get 439 divided by five subjects, we will get 87.8. Okay. Next, the median, the middle score when the data arranged in order. Good job. So, how do we get that, that one? We will arrange it in order, lowest to highest. Since the lowest is 86 and then 90 is the highest, the middle is 88. Okay, good job. And then the last one, the mode is the data that appear more often. In this example, the mode here is the 88 because it appeared twice. The grade of Anna in subjects mathematics and Filipino, Filipino is 88, that's why it appeared twice, that's the mode. Okay class, in order for, for us to know more about the mean, median, and mode, take a look for the examples and we will help for Patrick's task. Okay, let's read number one. The, the score of the civil student and 10 item pop quiz 7, 5, 4, 9, 7, and 6, and 11. Find the mean, median, and mode. Okay, number 2. The number of hours each student spends studying and doing projects each day is shown in the table. Find the mean, median, and mode. Okay, this is the student. Okay. So, let's answer the Patrick task. Okay, who would like to try to answer number 1? Okay. Miss Michelle Okay, what is your answer? Okay, good job You will add all the data You will get 49 And then you will divide to 7 49 divided 7 You will get 7 So, how do we get the mean? Okay, Dave You, we, you add all the data And you divide it by the number of the data Very good Okay, how about the median? Okay we arrange it from lowest to highest. Since the median is, we arrange it, what is the missing median? What is the median? Okay, gel, what is our answer? Okay, very good. It's 7. How about the mode? It is the data that appear more often. Also, 7. Okay, I hope you really understand our lesson class. So, we have another example. The number of the dollars of student, find the mean, median, and mode. Okay. 
So, how do we get again the mean? We add all that given data. 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. We will get 20 divided by 8. So, we will get 2.5. So, the median here is we arrange it from lowest to highest. Um, 2 and 3 is the middle. We add this. 2 plus 3, 5 divided by 2. So, we will get 2.5. And then the mode here is 2 and 3 because 2 appears thrice, 3 appears thrice also. So, that's you call. What do you call that class when there are two modes given? Okay, Berendish. Bimodal. Very good. We have two modes here. That's you call bimodal. And if there are three modes, we call that trimodal. Okay, good job. I hope you really understand our lesson class. Since you really understand, kindly arrange the three phrases here. Given. Okay. Michael, can you arrange the given meaning of mean? Okay. The sum of all data divided by, by the total number of data. Excellent. Good job. The median, how do you answer that? Imelda, the middle of score when the data is arranged in order. Very good. And mode is the data that appear more often. I hope you really understand our lesson for today class.